been a long time coming. But tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to America. After the first 100 days of the Obama presidency, many changes have occurred. How has change affected the unborn? For me, the goal right now should be, and this is where I think we can find common ground, how do we reduce the number of abortions? How do we reduce the number of abortions? After only three days in office, President Obama signed an order forcing taxpayers to pay for more abortions overseas. President Obama also approved tax funding for a United Nations program that underwrites forced abortion on young mothers in China. One thing that I'm absolutely convinced of is that there is a moral and ethical element to this issue. There is a moral and ethical element to this issue. If abortion is a moral and ethical issue during the campaign, then why did the president propose revoking conscience rights for medical personnel who object to performing abortions? Are there ways that we can work together to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies? Are there ways that we can work together to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies? How can both sides work together when the president failed to invite a single pro-life health care advocate to his White House conference on health care? In more change for the unborn, President Obama filled critical federal posts with the who's who of pro-abortion groups, Dawn Johnson, Ellen Moran, and Tina Tuchin. And for the top post in the largest federal agency, Health and Human Services, President Obama selected Governor Kathleen Sebelius, close ally of late-term abortionist George Tiller she will oversee the president's national health care plan. 100 days of change in the stem cell debate. If, in fact, adult stem cell lines are working just as well, then of course we, would, we should try to avoid any kind of moral arguments okay. uh, that, that may, may be in place. If, Adult stem cells already treat over 70 serious diseases. Embryonic stem cell research began over 25 years ago and has provided zero treatments. In spite of these facts, President Obama is now forcing taxpayers to fund embryonic stem cell research. 100 days of change in our justice system Attorney David Ogden is well known for his defense of child pornography. He served as a hired attorney for Playboy, Penthouse, and the ACLU. He is the president's choice for Deputy Attorney General of the United States. Meet Judge David Hamilton, the president's first federal court nominee. He is well known for banning prayers in the Indiana legislature if they mentioned Jesus. Yet praying Allah's name is acceptable to Judge Hamilton. 100 days of change for marriage. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. Marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. After taking office, Obama's White House website declared his commitment to overturn DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act. For the last 13 years, DOMA has been the primary legal protection for traditional marriage in the United States. In press interviews, President Obama welcomed the judicial activism of Iowa's Supreme Court when it legalized same-sex marriage. Yet so far, he has failed to comment on court rulings from New York, Maryland, and Washington State that upheld traditional marriage. 100 days of change in government spending. President Obama has proposed America's first $3.6 trillion budget. It doubles the national debt to be paid by our children and grandchildren. It exceeds the debt accumulated by the first 43 presidents combined. 
Yet despite this massive spending, the Obama budget cuts our Department of Defense budget to pre-World War II levels. One way Americans have always reduced the cost of government services is through charitable giving to organizations such as the Salvation Army and Catholic Charities. The tax deduction for charitable giving has been in place for over 90 years. As a result, Americans donate about $300 billion per year to thousands of charities. President Obama proposes to radically reduce or eliminate charitable deductions. You can believe that this change in the tax code will result in less charity and more government services in America. Change in our economy. In spite of hundreds of billions of dollars given to banks, the economy is getting worse instead of better. Our nation is seeing more and more foreclosures and soaring corporate bankruptcies. Unemployment is still growing and now stands at nearly 9%. Close to 1 million workers have been laid off since President Obama began stimulating the economy. Change has come to America. Change has come to America. Elected with a mandate to fix the economy, President Obama has instead pursued a radical social agenda that preys upon the most vulnerable members of our society, the millions of Americans that may never be born because of President Obama's 100 Days of Change.